Welcome to Communicating, an Alexio short course. In this course, we'll look at communicating with the people you have in your database. Let's jump right in. We've been working with Keith James and the family Keith and Peg James. We have added an email address for Keith, a mobile phone number, and a home phone number. Sending individual emails is quite easy. You navigate to the General tab and then simply click the icon to the right of the item by which you want to communicate. So if it is an email, you click the little icon next to the email address. If it's a mobile phone and you want to text that person, you click that icon. So if I do that, I'll click the email icon. I am taken to a new part of the Alexio database. We have been, in our short courses up to this point, been talking about the people section. We're now in communication. You'll notice that Keith James is my who. That's who I'm going to send to. So the to part is already filled in with Keith. I launched from his record. It is assuming that it wants to send the email from me. And now all I have to do is type in a subject for my email and we will say this is an update. And we can begin typing. The guides here indicate that it is going to drop in Keith's first, na first name. That is uh, because it is using an insert field option. It's saying, hey, Keith, and then I can indicate what I want to say. And we hit send. After hitting review send, you're presented with a window that allows you to take a last look, make sure your email looks the way you want it to look. And if it does, you're ready. You can hit the button that indicates send now. And great, it's all queued up. It's going to be sent right now in the moment. Later, if uh, we'll talk about checking on your email. Did it go? And what if it didn't? And how to deal with that? But let's go back over that. That's just a quick review. We started on Keith's record. We selected the icon next to his email address. That redirected us to the communications area. Has his name already filled into the to field? We entered a subject. We identified what we wanted to say, then we hit the review send button, which gives us a final chance to preview our email, and then we send it now. That is sending an individual email. Sending an individual text would do the exact same thing, but it would, rather than taking me to the email section, it would simply take me to the SMS area. Keith's name would be filled in, as it is here, and then I'm simply typing in my text message that I want to send to him. A little bit different, the text message will not look as if it's coming from me, where the email can look as if it's coming from me. As a matter of fact, on email, you can have this look like it's coming from just about anyone. It defaults to my address, but if I want this to look like it's coming from Pastor Tom, and I put in pttom at me.com, that's who Keith James will interpret that this email is coming from. Now, I can even put in a fictitious email address here. This does not have to be a real address uh, because really it's being sent from the Alexio servers and the email server, but visually Keith James will see that this comes from Pastor Tom if I leave it like this. Okay, let's turn our attention to sending a mass email. In the communication area, you will be able to start with, rather than starting in the people section and selecting a person, you start in the communication area and start with criteria of some sort. So in I'll click the button labeled two, and you'll see that it's going to open up an ability to search for a group of people. I'll start very simply. Perhaps I want to send an email to everyone in a particular age group. What is happening here is that on the general tab, you are pulling demographic information from the people section in a lot of coming from a lot of the areas we've already looked at. We've looked at the uh, general tab. We've looked at the involvement tab, the assessment tab. That data is available here. So in my case, I'm going to grab age group. We had a little discussion about age group. If I want to send to everybody in their 20s, this is everybody in my database in the age of 20s. 521 people. I'll keep it really simple and say, yes, that's who I want to send to. Select the button that says OK. Now, 
rather than a single person. It's listing Donna and Jacqueline and Anna Cross and 517 more that it doesn't have room to display. This becomes really powerful when we talk about merge fields because it's going to drop in, hey Donna, hey Jacqueline, hey Kelsey, that is a merge field. I can add additional merge fields. You do that here. So if I would like to perhaps for whatever reason uh, identify their primary phone number. And it's going to drop in what we have identified as primary phone number. We should end with a question mark and we should put our comma back up here. You'll learn to and get more and more comfortable with working with filling out the content. Just know the tools that you have at your disposal. You can type an email in the same way you would in whatever email system you use, but don't forget the ability to really personalize and make it much more strategic by inserting fields from the database. They're not all here, but a lot of them are. Once we have it set like we want, uh, we would need a subject and we'll call ours phone question mark. We'll still hit the button indicated as review send and once again, I'm given an opportunity to look at my email, make sure that the text is what I want it to be. You're also seeing the fields being merged now. So for this one that's being sent to Donna, we're seeing her primary phone number pop into the email message. You're also seeing very clearly, in my case, I have several people who I have no email for. In the real world, of course, hopefully your data is going to be much more accurate than that. This is all fictitious data that I'm working with. Uh, it's important to take a look here at the bottom, and when we start talking about sending emails to large numbers of people, we start wanting to think about being strategic with that. That's why you're given an opportunity to, rather than send this now, let's say you're planning an event and you want to send out a message about that event. Well, it may be there's a more strategic time to send that. If you select, which is what I will do, send later, you can choose a date and we'll have this send out on the 4th and uh, there's research that says there are better times of the day to send emails. I'll select to send this at 7 a.m. And we will select the button that says send and now rather than it going immediately, it's queued up. We see that over here on the left hand side. We see that we have an email that is now scheduled. That's the basics on sending both individual emails and mass emails. I'll again comment the same thing could hold true for sending a mass text. Mine is still showing Keith James, but if I follow the same routine that I followed in building a list for a mass email, I can build a list for a mass text. I will select something different just to have a little bit of interest here. In this case, I will send out a text to all uh, mails in my database. Now, keep in mind, this when you use criteria like this, right now, if I leave it as this, 1,519 names, that's down to young boys to uh, men. Now, of course, if they don't have a phone number, it's going to ignore them anyway, but it might be a good idea to also engage age group. Uh, if I'm planning an event for college age men, I might want to restrict down. Now I've got 32. I'll hit the button that says select all and I'll choose OK. All the same uh, rules apply here in that I could merge fields. I might want to start with the text with everybody's first name and then begin typing out what I want to send. You can schedule texts in the same way you could schedule emails. The, the functionality is the same. Of, of course, the communication method is a little bit different. You have 160 characters to work with here in a text message. A final note about the look of your email. The Alexio communications area allows you to apply a design to your email. Uh, this is great for newsletters. It's really great for any time you want to catch attention, more so than just a straightforward black and white email. That's it for this short course. Remember to check help.alexio.com for additional level one courses.